Welcome to the Observer Media Group's Daily Headlines Broadcast, awarded 2012's Best Video Initiative by a local newspaper in North America. Community news from Longboat, Sarasota, East County, and Siesta Key. Yourobserver.com. Local news that's local news. It's Wednesday, October 11th. I'm Emily Walsh. And I'm Alex Mahadavan, here to report the daily headlines. Does Sarasota desire a streetcar? City planners, elected officials, and residents will discuss the topic next month. Advocates of the streetcar idea say it would be more inviting to ride a streetcar than a trolley or bus. It's difficult to tell whether Sarasota officials are willing to endure the competitive grant process to make it happen. One requirement of such a grant is to come up with a viable business plan to operate the car for at least 20 years. The city of Sarasota has hired an engineer to conduct a $70,000 feasibility study, which is the first step in a lengthy process. For more, pick up a copy of the Sarasota Observer. Sarasota County Commissioners have voted to end assessments on Siesta Key for a municipal parking lot. October 10th, Commissioners voted 4-1 to one in favor of abolishing the Special Taxing District. The district was established 18 years ago to collect taxes from property owners to build the lot. But varying interpretations of the tax ordinance have complicated collections. The vote will save village property owners nearly $350,000 in taxes over the next seven years. Siesta business owner Chris Brown has sued the county three times over allegations of selective enforcement of the assessment. For the full story, pick up a copy of the Pelican Press. Two Longboat Key residents have expressed interest in commission seats. Town clerk Trish Granger said Gene Jaleski, a former commissioner, and Larry Grossman have picked up commissioner packets to review. The news comes after it was announced that Joseph Vianello picked up commission paperwork and could run against Commissioner Terry Gans. Commissioners Jack Duncan and Philip Younger have already qualified for their seats, which also expire in March. Mayor Jim Brown also intends to run for another term, but is still working his way through the qualification process. For more, visit yourobserver.com. In this week's Diversions, you'll find a review of some fiery cocktails featured at local restaurants. The libation trend has been popping up around Sarasota and is sure to add spice to the fall season. Our list includes Darwin's on Force Fruta Picante, a subtly spiced drink that's medium bodied with a smooth texture. Michael's on East Spicy Mexican Margarita, a refreshing drink which balances cool cucumber with hot habanero flavors and Libby's Cafe's Spicy Dirty, which includes grated jalapeno and blue cheese stuffed olives. For a full spicy cocktail review, pick up a copy of this week's Diversions in the Longboat and Sarasota Observers and the Pelican Press. Boy, Emily, now I'm thirsty. Me too. Well, that's all for today's headlines. For more community and breaking news, go online to yourobserver.com. And pick up a copy of the Longboat and East County Observer Wednesday and the Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday. You, your neighbors, your, your neighborhood. neighborhood.